for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye measure, it shall be measured to you again. Verse 3, it says, uh, And why beholdest thou the mote that is in your brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in your own eye? See, that's what they're doing. They, they fussing over the law. You know, nitpicking about the law, but one not keeping one part of the law and the other not keeping another part of the law. So that means some both of these both of you both of these people got a, a, a um a moat in their eye. And I think that moat go go to like a stick in the eye. But The main thing is, is not going to eliminate people from uh, saying that you keep the law the best that you can. Because it's about a rehearsal and it's about returning to your heritage. It's about being an Israelite again. You see, it's about being... I'll be thinking myself. Now let me get some more about that be thinking myself. Let's get Roman. <clears throat> Romans chapter 9. Romans 9, let me get 24. It say, even us uh, whom he has called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. Now these Gentiles is the ones that's coming back to their nationality because the Jews knew that they was Israelite. They knew they was from Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. They, they, did, they wasn't confused about who they were and what their identity was. The only one that, that was confused about their identity was the Gentile. So that's why Paul, he said in um, verse 25, it's, no, verse 24, even us whom he have called, so the only one that was called was the Israelite. He didn't call no other nation. He only called the Israelite. It says, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentile. Now let me get a, a, a mirror verse <laughs> in John. Because he this is stated multiple times, even in John. Look at John. Um John 7. I think 35. Yeah, 7 and 35. It says. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go? That we shall not find him. Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? See, they were saying, Where is he going to go? Is he going to go to these Gentiles and teach them? Because they don't know that they're Israelites, but they're not keeping the law. They're Israelites. But they not keeping the law. See, they they. There's other versions of the Bible that say that uh, will he go amongst the Jews to disperse? But let's go to ten, cause ten says straight up. I mean, verse chapter eleven, John chapter eleven. Uh, let's see, verse verse fifty one. It say. And this spake he not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Yahweh should die for that nation. See, the nation of Israel. Verse 52. This is John 11 and 52. And not for that nation only, but that also he shall gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad. See, the ones that were scattered abroad, those, those Gentiles, 
Paul was talking about. Let's go back to uh, Romans 9. Romans 9, verse 24. It said, Even us whom he have called, not the Jews only, but also the Gentiles. Now this is when he's going to read uh, I, uh, Hosea chapter 1, verse 10. He's going to quote it. Verse 25, it says, As he said also in Hosea, I will call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which were not beloved. 26, it says, And it shall come to pass, that in the place where, see, that go the land of their captivity again, it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God. He said, verse 27, uh, he tells you who he was talking about. Verse 27, he said, Isaiah also cried concerning Israel. So when you say also, it's the same thing. You're not saying something different. you saying he, he also was talking about the Israelites. This thing about uh, when he say, which were not my people, he wasn't talking about, oh, what up, baby? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he, 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 wasn't, he wasn't just talking about some non-Israelite people. He told him, he said, ye are not my people. He said, that's what they would say in that land of captivity. But in 27, he said, Isaiah also cried concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. So not just uh, some uh, um, people out of the blue, that he gonna start talking to and he coming to save them. This is not what it was talking about. And he quoted the whole, almost the whole verse of Hosea, but he said it backwards. And he added Isaiah in there. Let's go get that Isaiah. Isaiah 10, verse 12. Let's look at Isaiah 10. Yeah, Isaiah 10, verse 21. Let me start at 20. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but they shall stay upon the Lord the Holy One of Israel in truth. Verse 21. He said the remnant shall return even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty God. See that, that return is them being born again. Them realizing that they're Israelites. See that's what they're returning to. They're returning to their nationality. They're returning to their identity. They're not black no more. They're not Hispanic no more. They're not Native American no more. You see, let me get 22. It says, for though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return and consumption the creed shall overflow with righteousness. See, all of the Israelites is not going to return. Only a remnant. Let's get that in, um, let's see, Zechariah? Zechariah, I think 13, let me try 13. There we go. Zechariah 13, 89. See, all the Israelites are not going to return. Only a remnant. And this 40, the, the 40 million and the, and the ones that scattered around the world, they are not the remnant. 
because he said that Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. It says, and this gives you this give you the specifics. It says, Zechariah 13 and 8. It shall come to pass that in all the land, says the Lord. See, this is in all the land and the land of their captivity. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Verse nine, and I will bring the third part through the fire. What fire is that? Well, the third part, the one third is gonna come through the fire, but what fire is that? See, that's nuclear fire that's going to burn up the two-thirds. That's why I say two parts shall be cut off and die. And they're going to die by the fire. It say, and the third part, uh, I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried they shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people and they shall say, Yahweh is my power. See, this is talking about the end and not the beginning, but it's going to be the beginning for the Israelites. And it's going to be the end of the, the Edomites and these other heathen nations. Now, it's another verse that gets to specifics about that not all the Israelites is going to wake up and, and, and receive their nationality. See, some of them is going to reject it. Let's go back to Hosea chapter 4. And I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. What land is this? What land that the Lord have a controversy? The land of the captivity of the Israelites. The land of slavery. See? He say, Because there is no truth nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. See, it's no, mer it's no mercy from these dragons, and the dang show ain't no knowledge, because they're not going to tell you your nationality. They're going to tell you American, you a, a U.S. citizen. That's what they're going to tell you. But this is what's going on with our people. See, the two-thirds that's going to get burned with that fire this is how we know all Israel is not going to make it through that fire. Hosea 4 and 6, he say, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject you that you shall be no priest to me seeing you have forgotten the law of your God. I will also forget your children. See, he not only is they forgetting the law, they forgetting all the knowledge. That's why he put knowledge with the law. Just like he said, the, the priest's lips shall keep knowledge, and they shall seek the law at his mouth. Because it's not just the law or, or the laws of Moses. This thing is about all the laws. Let me get that. Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. It says, This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endures forever. So you see, he put the whole book. It's not just some commandment, some of the book. It's the whole book. Is the law. See? The whole book is the law. 
It say, All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Okay. And keeping the book is bigger than just keeping the law. I mean, the, the uh, 613 laws is bigger than that. Look at um, Psalms, I think Psalms 40. Psalms 40, verse 7. It says, Then, then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book it is written of me verse 8 i delight to do thy will O oh my god yeah that law is within my heart so this the book see it's a whole book let's go to Ezra's because Ezra's breaking down also about this book is bigger than those 613 laws. This is about keeping the whole book. <clears throat> okay, let me um let me get uh second edges 1444. Let me start at 44. It says in 40 days they wrote 204 books 204 books this is what Ezra and these other five Israelites wrote it says um, it says and it came, verse 45, second Ezra 14, 45. And it came to pass when the 40 days were filled that the highest spake, saying, The first that you have written, published openly, and the worthy and the unworthy, that the worthy and the unworthy might read or may read. 46. He say, but keep the seventy last that thou makest or may deliver them only to such as be wise among the people. So everybody wasn't given the wisdom. He say, give everybody the worthy and the unworthy the the, the books. But keep the seventy last, and he said, deliver them to the wise of the people. So it's a portion of, of the book or of the knowledge in the law that's only meant for the, the wise. And those wise is gonna be that one that one part or that one third. That's gonna be that's gonna come through the fire. <clears throat> Let's get this in um, Matthew 13. Let me start at verse 10. He say, And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Verse 11. He, he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. Okay, now that takes me to Sarat. Because he's not going to give the secrets to everybody. You know what, I don't remember what, where that was at. But let me... Search. I'm going to use my search bar. Uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 3 in the Apocrypha, verse 
verse 19. It says, Many are in high place and of renown, but the mysteries are revealed unto the meek. So it's only going to be a, a remnant of the meek that's going to receive the mystery. Everybody's not going to receive the mystery. You see? Everybody is not going to receive the mystery. Okay. Let's get Revelation 22 and let me see here. Revelation 22 and 14, it says, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates in the city. And look at some of the commandments that he said that they guarantee they ain't going to make.